Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 10, exercise 11e, chapter 11, chapter name is Understanding Elementary Shapes of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 11e questions 1 to 10 of chapter 11. Chapter name is understanding elementary shapes and topic is types of quadrilaterals. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 1. The shapes below are drawn on squared paper. Name each shape. First draw the given shape. This shape is given. And this is, this is the shape of a rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. In rectangle, opposite sides are equal. These two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. And all the angles, each angle is equal to 90 degree. So this is the shape of a rectangle. Now second bit B. First draw the given figure. <coughs> this shape is given and this is the shape of a parallel parallelogram. Parallelogram is um, in which all um, opposite sides are equal. These two sides and these two sides are equal and these angles are not equal to 90 degrees. So this is the shape of a parallel, um, parallelogram. Now third bit C. First draw the given figure. This shape is given. In this shape, all the four sides are equal. Each sides are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degree. All these four angles are equal to 90 degrees. So this is the shape of a square. Now question number fourth bit D. First draw the given shape. This is the shape of a trapezium. Opposite sides are these two sides are parallel so this is the shape of a trapezium now question number e b first draw the given shape this is the shape of a parallelogram Now F B. First draw the given shape. This is the shape of a square. All the four sides are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degree. Now G B. First draw the given set. In this shape all the opposite sides are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degree. And this is the shape of a rectangle. Now HB, first draw the given shape. In this shape, all the four sides are equal but each angle is not equal to 90 degree and this is the shape of a rhombus.
Now question number IB. First draw the given shape. This is the shape of a trapezium. Now JB, first draw the given shape. In, in this shape, all the four sides are equal, but each angle is not equal to 90 degree. And this is the shape of a rhombus. Now we will solve question number 2. Fill in the blanks. A quadrilateral with all sides and all angles equal is a, all the four sides are equal and all the angles that is equal to 90 degree that is a square. Four sides are equal and angles are equal. Second B, a quadrilateral with four equal sides and no right angles can be called a dash. A quadrilateral with four equal sides. All the four sides are equal and no right, right angle. There is no right angle triangle and this is called a rhombus. Now question number third B. A quadrilateral with exactly two sides parallel is a dash. Exactly two sides parallel. So this is a trapezium. Fourth bit, the diagonals of this quadrilateral are equal but not perpendicular. The quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The quadrilateral is a rectangle. The diagonals of this quadrilateral are equal but not perpendicular. The quadrilateral is a rectangle. Now fifth bit, all rectangles, squares and rhombus are dash but a trapezium is not. All rectangles, squares and rhombus are parallelogram but a trapezium is not a parallelogram. All are parallelograms. Now question number three. Determine if the given statements are sometimes, always or never true. First bit, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral. A parallelogram is always quadrilateral, always. Second bit, a parallelogram is a trapezium. A parallelogram can never be a trapezium, so this is never. Now question number third bit, a rhombus is a square. A rhombus is sometimes square. Fourth bit. A trapezium is a quadrilateral. A trapezium is always a quadrilateral. B. Now fifth bit. A rectangle is a square. A rectangle is sometimes a square. Sixth bit. A square is a rhombus. Square is always a rhombus. Now seventh bit. A square is a rectangle. A square is always a rectangle. Seventh, eighth bit. Four sided plan figures are parallelogram. Four sided plan figures are sometimes parallelogram. Now question number 4. Answer true or false. First bit. 
each angle of a rectangle is a right angle each angle of a rectangle in rectangle each angle is 90 degree so this is true second bit the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length this is also true opposite sides in rectangle are equal these two sides are length are equal and breadth are also equal so this is also true now third bit the diagonal of a square are perpendicular to one another this is the square and diagonal the square are perpendicular each angle is equal to 90 degree so this is also true fourth bit all the sides of a rhombus are of equal length in rhombus all four sides are equal in length but this angles are not equal to 90 degree so this is also true now fifth bit all the sides of a parallelogram are of equal length in parallelogram opposite sides are equal and each angle is not equal to 90 degree so all the sides of a parallelogram are of equal length this is false sixth bit the opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel only these two sides are parallel but these two sides are not parallel so this is also false so opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel this is false now question number 5 give regions of the following first bit a a square can be thought of as a special rectangle a square has all the properties of a rectangle a square can be thought of as a special rectangle this is true a square has all the properties of a rectangle all properties of rectangle a square has all properties of a rectangle second bit b a rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram a rectangle has all the properties of a parallelogram now third bit c a square can be thought of as a special rhombus a square has all the properties of rhombus a square has all properties of rhombus d b squares rectangles parallelograms are all quadrilaterals all the four sided closed plane figures are called quadrilateral four sided plane figures are quadrilateral now e bit a square is also a parallelogram square has all the properties of a parallelogram a square has all the properties of a parallelogram now 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स मल्टीपुल चॉइस क्वेश्चन से क्वाड्रिलेटरल हुज डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल एंड बाइसेक्ट इच अदर एट राइट एंगल्स इज ए ऑप्शन सर पैलेलोग्राम रेक्टेंगल रोम्बस एंड स्क्वायर स्क्वायर ए क्वाड्रिलेटरल हुज डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल एंड दे बाइसेक्ट इच अदर दैट इज इक्वल टू 90 डिग्री so square so quadrilateral whose diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles is a square so option d is the correct option now question number 7 multiple choice question say quadrilateral shaped photo frame has all sides equal which of the following is not possible shape of shape for the photo frame quadrilateral shaped photo frame photo frame is a square it can be a square photo frame can be a rectangle also can be a rhombus also but it is not the shape of a trapezium so option d is the correct option so the quadrilateral shape photo frame has all sides equal so trapezium is not possible the shape for the photo frame in trapezium opposite sides are only one side are parallel but not equal now question number 8 multiple choice question say figure is said to be regular if the sides are equal in length and angles are equal in measure can you identify the regular quadrilateral options are parallelogram rhombus square and rectangle so this is square option c is the correct option a figure is said to be regular if its sides are equal in length all the four sides all the four sides are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degree all the four sides are equal so this is the shape of a square the regular quadrilateral is square so option c is the correct option now question number 9 multiple choice question which quadrilateral is not a parallelogram options are rectangle trapezium square and rhombus is not a parallelogram rectangle is a parallelogram square is also a parallelogram rhombus is also a parallelogram but trapezium is not a parallelogram parallelogram so option b trapezium is not a parallelogram Now question number ten. High order thinking skill. Hot questions. The diagonal of this quadrilateral divides into two isosceles right triangles. Name the quadrilateral. Suppose this is a square. In this square, the diagonals are bisecting each other, and each angle is equal to ninety degree. And this is also ninety degree. Each angle is equal to ninety degree. and all the four sides are equal these are the properties of a square so these diagonals of this quadrilateral divides into two isosceles triangles these diagonals bisecting each of each other so this is a isosceles triangle and this is also isosceles triangle these two sides are equal these two sides are equal so the quadrilateral is a square so the diagonal of the um, diagonal of square divides into two isosceles right right angle triangle
if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you, thank you.